But be a brainstem stroke, they're one of the worst ones. Say, after two brainstem, or respiration in our Quran, and I just said, you are doomed. It's a man very critical. Stroke, stroke, I come on, say, Canada, hey, na, and you may come to Papa and a Tosona, and it's in a year, say, come on, say, Canada, hey, na, Nipa, what about 40 to 50,000, and in your stroke, Afibia. But then you sink in Kakra. Forty to fifty thousand people get a stroke in Canada every year. US right in the West, about eight hundred thousand people get stroke every year. It's a BIA tell me for a team here come once. Sir, Nipa in your stroke in fifteen percent of them on the complete could do top on the call. 10% of them will recover. 25% of so them will recover. But with some form of disability, we are not a cancer assistant, and I said, if I may be not a good 40% of them will have a moderate to severe impairment. Now, 10% of them they, they will have permanent and severe disability. In fact, several years ago, because I had more about a heart attack. When you are stroke with a hope for 10 years, or no one, or no one, or no one, or no one, it's a yet serious problem, severe disability. One way I knew you why I did, if you did a home mama, and you did a OCS challenge. Stroke, stroke, I can't say, a book Canada, a book in car, over $2.7 billion. A million, billion. It is a Libya, a cow, a cause of problem. Now, types of stroke may be ischemic stroke and then hemorrhagic stroke. We don't have information about the big point of view. The new media was a year five months and then a mistress is more bad. Hemorrhagic, they say, pipe on a pipe, names in Mojan and you never work anymore. Ischemic, they say, Mojan and Timiko, it will be a supply and a whole year to me. And the award transient one, and there's a mini stroke. We'll be our new mini stroke, be also a possible so that you a permanent stroke. Maybe. Risk factors, maybe. Near my birth, a bit in your mood, be a new stroke, and it's a year one day. Hypertension, Mojam Rosoya, Cassandra said, they can. So I can see a P, a bro said, and there was a whole year so. Wakuman soon gave you my papa. The prayer I leave you a command say atrial fibrillation. So a command and also moja pipe on also some form we have vascular malformation. Cholesterol, sadly, we be will moja and more. It's in a compromise. It is only from Saint Sinka, a woofy, a seer, a human to him for. Will be all diabetes or chances of it in the stroke. So we know my group here a year blood thinning medication. There is that possibility. So. You want to do an IF 55 work on chances of it in any stroke cost. You hear the person to me, so your chances of it in a stroke cost. And then I'm going to say, the teacher, our chairman, dear, he may be saying, I didn't see. I was here to do for the be stressing me too much. And then he answered, Oh, so you want to do it. It's to prevent stroke, you know, you're also a scan. I feel so. เมื่อมาเมื่อมาลูกพันธุ์เนี่ยสุดเกิดเย็นเมื่อมาเมื่อมาอย่างนี้เอ็นซูซูเป็นเนี่ยสิบสี่กว่าชั้นซูเป็น
see in his sex, the Tifako chances so when you stroke you increase it. So also when first is I do sure one. At least go for a walk and change the breed and so more. You move a break go be bad and you know what they've been the channel so you go to be bad and tell you baby smoking, alcohol, drug abuse. You be say cocaine, cocaine you used to say and my high stroke in young people. But I'm fed and a high stress level. And tell Brown and Dr. Pogujan, you can't kind of stress one seminar. And I'm following it with this subject. See, of course, why am I most stressed? Yeah. Why am I here? Why am I here? So you didn't just stroke. You want me to share this? A door should be free. It's been the rap on at this point. Measure say, we take it. A dear will be in your stroke. I will buy what's over here. A dear the chest will be in your stroke. The bit in your car was a bitch. But you will say, one way then a new family be every drum. I said, seven day and I know ya chiano. Nanny fan, I weep. I regret the unwire book for her to be a slash speech. That is the time to call 911. It is stroke, you know. It is busy as it prepares it. Stroke in a way, you know, and you come a bit, a chino. It is busy a brilliant tea. Yammy boy, a daffo fro. Happy Sabbath, church. All right. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Um, it's a pleasure to be in God's house today. I know a lot of people may feel under the weather because of the conditions that are going on outside. But because we have life and we have breath, we should praise God and praise Him accordingly. As you can see, we have our beautiful children up here and in our beautiful attire. And because of that, it's Children's Day. I just ask that as we are up here, you say a prayer for each and every child that may be here or may not be here. And pray that our program runs, runs well today. Um, also, I got one visitor's card. The name is Charity Scott. She was invited by Auntie Joyce to dance. If, if you're here, Miss Charity Scott, can you please rise so we can... Give you a big amen. Yay. Amen. Thank you for coming. You're always welcome. I know time has gone, so I'll just ask that everyone just look to the person beside them and shake their hand and say thank you for coming. You're very welcome. Yeah, I just want to wish all of our mothers and our aunties a happy Mother's Day. We appreciate each and every one of you dearly. So without further ado, I'd ask that everybody please rise so that we sing our opening hymn, SDAH 190. SDAH 190.
Today I'll be doing prayer, so we're going to call Amat and Stanley to come to me.
the hardship, the pain. But though the mountains crumble and the oceans rage, and war against my soul, the devil may wage. Though the tempest has turned my smile upside down, and my life like a river of sorrow in which I drown, yet will I stand unshaken for as long as it lasts. Faithful is he who promised, and it shall come to pass. If God be for us, then who can stand against? The God who spoke all the earth into form, he said, Let there be light, let it be bright. Let there be day, let there be night. Out of the sound of his voice, birds, fish, and trees did come. The mountains they melt like wax, the hills skip like young cows. At the sound of the voice of the God that we serve, our help in the ages past, our hope for years to come. Besides thee, O oh Lord, we have no other God.
Mama yempa high regard kama yana ufuni. Na enyemre, when they go to work, come back, prepare food, and do all that they do for you. And you see for them. But they already be some. Na sabri, the mo 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 Okay. And so, um, for some time now, the share center around the bit me, I'm a Omanya Energy Award Department one. And we said, you might be a one, Mayana, and for another one, no more to recap for her. See, just a whole lot of things are going on. Yeah, yeah, dream one, and yet, let's see if I can be near to me. Uh, make us a team more, but see if I can be near to me, or what me trust in our Omanya Energy Award Department one. In the name of the I have been saying, if I try to say that to me at all, TV, and I think it's not a speaker's name, a friend saying, microphone say you saw me now, I say, it's not say you try to say that to me at all, new ones now, and they are more or more on them. And I think TV, I let me get for what I say, programs, me, I'm not going to be able to access it or internet, and I share with them. And you know, my mom has said, TV, Samsung 65 inch smart TV. And uh, um, a friend said, speakers, you know, any mix on it, a friend said, uh, amplifier. And a uh, microphone, a uh, microphone, so, so you yeah, have to record less, uh, uh, cord ones, maybe, and I understand. And so I can just say, and you know, I do so I find, just say, I can't so I will want to find. I can't so, yeah, but uh, if I try to say, I can't even be in kind of fuel. And your money, in fact, it cost three years, but I can't get six thousand dollars. I can't get six thousand, and I pay so much money to all my money, you know. In a ace, small, you know. And that point, be asking me, dedicated, you're dedicated, you're a you're a you're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a you're a bitch, 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 you're a Mr. Swanton, for Nama Banati, for the Monsabito, so now, Eddie, and beginning in Anna, as in Radinsa, as in Shira, Ampara, or Casma TV, Savi, your work, a dignity way at Yemo, but this one is a different one. In the sense, the purpose of the person is Sabono, and yet, so. Yeah,阿萨夫，你就没接，你没有嘛？我说，你说，阿里边不要莫烦哦。等你来，你去做卡塞，我妈莫烦，烦我妈咪，你去，我们去做卡塞，我们去做卡塞，我们去做卡塞
We want to bring these children in the fear and admonish, admonition of the Lord. We want to train them in the way that Lord He want us to train them, so that they will grow as mature children, maturing into adulthood and still making decisions for Jesus Christ. We don't want any of them to stray away from the fold. And we have been praying, Lord, day and night that we will bring our dear friends who are outside back to this fold. So, Lord, at this time, even as we lay down our hands on these instruments, we dedicate them to your own glory. That for whatever purpose that they are meant to serve, in your praise, in worship, in adoration, in studies, in learning, whatever purpose they are meant to serve, that by your grace, they will serve those purposes. Those who will use, and those for whom it will be used, we all bless in your name. Amen. Now, these things have been purchased at a price, and that you have commanded us to give so that your work will go on smoothly. So surely, Lord, we will appeal to your church. And I ask in your holy name that whoever is touched to give something for this instrument, may your blessings be upon those people. And even as we worship you, Lord, we ask that your holy angels will be present today to minister in a very special way to our children, bringing blessings from above. And at the end of it, O oh Lord, may we find favor in your sight through Jesus Christ. And so in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, we dedicate this instrument to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Okay, it's my uh, 10 minutes, but it's my bear, I'm here 10 minutes. Me, you know, a friend said, Pentecostal way. Now, also for me, a yes, a memory, one was just sitting down, sorry. Now, a baby, it's just suit, or sorry, it would be a no idea hundred. If one more time, then also so assigned you. I feel we are well suited in your black, black, no massage, well shaped black shoe, no massage. She's not a papa, she said, Yeah, you feel papa, no papa. I feel, yeah, wow, you're here for call. And also, papa, you're here for call. No massage, sorry, no cheer. I feel, oh, yeah, wow, you're so what? Never so papa, no serious so what? No massage, and you're beside me, baby. No, I'm not going to do that. It is a sermon. Well, Phil said, we want to do it, but there is no money. Um, it's you we cannot account for them. So, but these ones, I am going to say, we can do something that can keep these ones in the church. You and I are going to do it. So, we are going to do it. 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 Just raise up your hand and then the envelopes are coming around. It's going to give you something. The obit in the upper end, yeah. Maybe be in chapel. The obit is a 1500, whatever. The obit in the upper end, yeah. Let's get you up. Sign and a few of you. Send it there next time. You will be here. And then you will call us. Just raise up your hand. Now you blow. Why? Then we'll see. Thank you. One more picture I'm saying that. I'm in Shabba. I'm going to say hands. Hands. I'm going to say Thank you very much. I did brought up one of the me, but will be a pigeon is all. Aha. I'm away. Sorry. I'm at the man. You said you're going to be so much. I'm sorry. 
Siri, brother, by my mind, that you said, and some more has a brother. Luke 2, verse 41 to 49. And then 
When Jesus was 12 years old, he accompanied his parents to Jerusalem for the annual Passover festival, which they were attending each year. After the celebration was over, they started home to Nazareth, but Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents didn't miss him the first day, for they assumed that he was with his friends among the other travelers. But when he didn't show up that, that evening, they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. And when they couldn't find him, they went back to Jerusalem to search for him there. Three days later, they finally dis discovered him. He was in the temple, sitting among the teachers of law, discussing the deep questions with them and amazing everyone with his understanding and answers. His parents didn't know what to think. Son, his mother said to him, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been frantic, searching for you everywhere. But why did you need to search, she asked. Didn't you realize that I couldn't be here in the temple in my father's house? The second one is Joshua 14, verse 6 12. Joshua 14, verse 6 to 12. And I read, The land given to Caleb, a delegation from the tribe of Judah, led by Caleb, came to Joshua and Gilgad. Remember what the Lord said to Moses about you and me when we were back at Kadesh Barnea? Caleb asked Joshua, I was 40 years old at the time, and Moses had sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land of Canaan. I report what I felt was the truth. But our brothers who slept with us fright frightened the people and discouraged them from entering the promised land. But since I had followed the, followed the Lord my God, Moses told me, the, sec the section of Canaan you are just in shall belong to you and your descendants forever. Now as you see from the time until now, the Lord has kept me alive and well for all these 45 years since crisscrossing the old. I am as strong now as I was when Moses sent us on that journey. And I could still travel and fight as well as I could, I could then. So I am asking that you give me the hill country which the Lord promised me. You remember that us spies, we found that Anakim living there, the great walled city. But if the Lord is with me, I shall drive them out of the land. Amen. And the last one is Revelation 2, verse 4 to 5. Revelation 2 verse, 2, verse 4 to 5, and I read, Yet there is one thing wrong. You don't love me as at first. Think about those times of your first love. How different now. And turn back to me again as work as you did before. Or else I will come and remove your candlestick from its place among the churches. Amen. 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 Okay, and then we have two uh, speakers today, and uh, if you can see the title of uh, today's sermon is Remember Your First Love. Remember what? Your First Love. Okay, this is something that Nyakoko uh, Ekasache uh, episode for Asori, you know, I'm not going to take anything out of the preachers. I want them to speak to you how God wants them to speak to you. So, I have two speakers today. I have one gentleman and one lady today. Now, Ansano Omu Beba, Sanko Fe Beba, Neva to him of meditation. But, my speakers for today is Chris Yabua. Chris Yabua. And trust me, this guy is, what can you say? Just say, what's surprising me, Ankasa? So, and you maybe like a Chris Abel, you say, Chris, Chris is a changed guy right now. Yeah. You, know, you know, he deserves to be given a place to speak to the children of God today. Yeah. Okay, then uh, I have Rich, uh, Rich La Ojo. Let me get <laughs> Okay, Rich La my, my old, my own daughter. Yeah, yeah she is going to also speak to us. And you know, after the hymn of meditation, the people who will be hearing will be Chris 
Yaboa and Richard. But before then, um, Belinda or Tim, only one of my best teachers. I know Anna Ed, oh yeah, welcome. Amen. And then the prayer girl. But this girl was able to say from A to Z. Yeah. Trust me, it was so good. It was so good. And uh, I, lo I love that. Uh, and then I have uh, one, one of my eloquent speakers. This girl, Stephanie. Woman is debater. She read the Bible for us. Okay. And I say, one of my best, best my secretaries. Atua Osage II. I don't know yet, I just offer it. I didn't mind. It was so good. Your songs, the two songs were so great. And you know, right after the song, uh, hymn of meditation, the people you'll be hearing first will be Chris and then Richard. If I talk, what you want to not open fire anymore. And I know, sir, God is going to touch you. Thank you very much.
Così. Title, remember your first self. I'm going to use 
be using Caleb and someone that you all know as my characters. And Chris, I hold your word. I hold your word to you. And if I see you running around, I will report you. <laughs> You have forsaken your love you had at first. Verse 5 says, Consider how far you have fallen. Repent and do the things you did at first. And here comes the warning. If you do not repent, I will come and remove your left step from this place. Do you first, I want you all to look back and reflect on the things you used to do in this church. We, your children, have realized that some of you are not doing the things you used to do anymore in this church. Remember your first love. Some of you used to come to the Wednesday and Friday meetings, but now you don't anymore. Remember your first love. Some of you used to come and help with the children's department, but now your your love for the work of God has gone cold. In Joshua chapter four, or chapter fourteen, verse six to twelve, which I want us to read. Can someone please read it for us? Joshua 14, verse 6 to 12. Joshua 14, verses 6 to 12. Then the children of Judah came to Joshua in Gal Galilee, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the Kesnite, said to him, You know the word which the Lord said to Moses, the man of God concerning you and me in Kadesh Barnea. I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land, and I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren who went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. So Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land where your foot has trodden shall be your inheritance and your children's forever, because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive, as he said, these forty-five years, ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses, while Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now here I am, this day, eighty-five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as on the day that Moses sent me. Just as my strength was then, so is my strength for war, both for going out and for coming in. Now therefore, give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the king were there, and that the cities were great and fortified. And I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. The Bible says that Caleb was 40 years old when together with Joshua brought good report from Moses about the land that God was going to give to the Israelites. Moses promised Caleb an inheritance, to, which happened to be a land. After 45 years, Caleb, Caleb went to Joshua to remind him of the promise Moses had made to him. Caleb did not wallow in his old age, but rather he was battle ready to possess that land. I have been absorbing my father for some time now, and he, and I have realized that his work for God has not changed. He is over 50, yet he has not slowed down in doing God's work. He comes home from work while we are sleeping, yet he will be the first one to wake everyone up. He makes sure by 9 o'clock we are on the road. If we do not meet his set time, you see a different face. This man, which I knew my father, tells us when he started working with children, and I can tell you, he's the same old person. He has not changed. Dear listeners, the good work that you started, please make, 
Please make sure you take it to completion. Your reward is waiting for you. Once again, remember your first love. Thank you for listening. I pray that the good Lord will help us to do work with his work like we used to do. Amen. Your presentation, baby. Not me. I'm son of the man. So our first love, we have Makaya Simbi. I said, a man. So Makaya Ghana. I said, oh baby, in your dem of Ufrobia. What you must say? Say, oh yeah, be a near my bed man. On first, on small credit, say on photo at the man. Now for now, because my rest can. On no other part of the CBD, on no other part of the CBD. Let me know how Samsung is wrong. Ni saba ako all kota di ano na ba ako suka ibo jam first love. Sa sa wati ase first love ano ba ako kota di ano na ba ako ibo ibo jam. Mekai mini pebi kami enchi. Anya wo na na otong force mo amo otong force wa hasi peno kami na mi refi girl baby. Oyi selesi na se adine efra. Mu aku boleh ni ding, aku say Aisha, aku say Ah Aisha, uji nemu. So, aku dia Aisha uji nemu, uji nemu pa the first love, or the part of my girl. So ada asyik. Afi ni, aku ada cerita na na eh na kami iya, kami Aisha uji nemu. Asyik tu dia unyah jaja ni, peska ni peska. So, now all that the children wants us to understand is that. And you might be Brianna, you're Yemen, you're Kupon, and now you're done. I did. I called. Mama, you're in the room. You know me. So, and you're easy, but let's try our best. All that we are doing, one day, the Master is coming to reward you and me. You know, let us hold hands and do this job. May you enjoy it more if you don't me enjoy more biso. I can say some time ago na me time anye na Isaac be leader. Whenever I come, that's the first time I get to go Isaac be a. I go ahead and do it. And that is what we have to do, you and I. And today I'm going to catch them. Remember your first love. Eh, I'm going to say I shall be able to so. But I'm going to give you number of photo. Okay. Now the way. Tell me. And Granny, we are your papa, Didi. Yo, I'm saying you know you raise your own. My idea, my idea, but I'm coming here. But if you are, if you are on the media, I feel like I'm coming. I said, what you heard, you want to also help. I find it. I hope you just say, "Be my employee, maybe." Now, so they are why, why? You know, I find nothing. Okay, nothing, but yeah. You know, why, why not? Maybe a professor on Super Eight crack. I'm saying I'm going to be a crowd, seriously. 1,300 is 1,400 when I'm here. I can't be almost 6,000. Oh, thank you. I'm going to be a crowd. Thank you. I'm going to be a crowd. 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 Go get that out of there for me. Why do you not be a crowd? I'm going to be a crowd. I'm going to be a crowd. Okay. Let me enter now. Oh, wait. Okay, all oh, right. Okay, happy Sabbath, everyone. 
Um, so the presentation that I'm going to be talking about today is um, how to keep children safe within the church. Uh, there is an ongoing problem, I would say, with um, some issues with the church and the children's department that I want to address. Um, Mary, can you go to the first slide, please? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the overall mission of the Children's Ministry Department. And the mission of the Children's Ministry Department is to nurture children into a loving, serving um, relationship, long-serving relationship with Jesus. So we seek to fulfill the mission by developing the following. So the first one is a grace-oriented ministry. Um, that is giving the children the opportunity to fall in love with Christ and to learn about God's love and his grace and his mercy. The next one is a leadership ministry, which is providing the teachers with the proper training, then in turn to give the children the proper training to be leaders. leaders. So as you can see with um, Children's Day, uh, Rich Love and Chris preaching, then taking leadership roles and encouraging them to fulfill those. Um, inclusive ministries, so accepting everybody for who they are, whether it's a child with a disability or um, Anything along those lines, different races, different uh, cultures, we embrace that. Um, Service-oriented ministry. So knowing that um, it's not only within house, so actually going into the community and showing love and showing God's love through, um, whether it's going through, um, going to, uh, let's say, a nursing home and singing to them. Uh, cooperative ministry. So this presentation is in conjunction with the security department. I had a quick chat with Uncle Andy, and I read through the minutes that they had with the Malton Church, and I pulled out a couple of the points that they talked about in regards to children, which we will address later on. And uh, evangelistic ministries, which is also this, evangelizing to others. And the last point, which is on the next slide, is safe ministries. So, it says, whereby our church chooses volunteers with high spiritual and moral backgrounds and in which we adopt safeguards to protect children from physical, emotional, and spiritual abuse and uh, the church from liability. So this means um, we have to put things in place in order to keep our children safe because if anything does happen, the church is liable as well as the parent. Next slide, please. So, in a sense, it is our duty to protect the children in the church. Next slide. So, based on the safe ministries um, point, we are going to have a little discussion about what is abuse, and we will be focusing on neglect. So, child abuse includes physical, emotional, and sexual, and or neglect. It, it, it also addresses a pattern of abuse and risks of harm. I bolded risks of harm because um, at the state we are in, it is a risk for something to happen, and in the event that something does happen, we are liable for that. So neglect, in a sense, is failing to provide for a child's basic needs, such as food, clothing, or shelter, which we all do. But the point that I have bolded is failing to adequately supervise the child or provide for their safety, which is an issue. Um, sometimes we have children's service. After children's service, the children are running around, they're running outside, they're running in the gym, they're running in the corridors, and I'm pretty sure when the adults are in here, you hear the children running around and screaming. So that is an ongoing problem. Um, also, I can also think about when um, we had the, the fire drill, and Uncle Andy was telling me how the police were ticketing people who were coming off the ramp too quickly. So in the event that a child so happens to run onto the street and a car coming off the highway that is speeding comes and hits the child, we will be liable and the, child, the parent will be responsible because the parent needs to know where their child is. So that is a huge, huge problem considering that we have so many beautiful children and this presentation is in place 
so that things won't happen. We need to be proactive as opposed to reactive. We can't be thinking about things after they happen. We have to think about them now. Next slide, please. So here are some of the safety concerns that we seen fit. So supervision during children's services. So I will be talking about ratios in the next slide and premises supervision. So we as a children's department, where are our teachers placed? Are we all sitting in the children's sanctuary or are we walking around the corridors, in the bathrooms, as well as the gym, just to make sure that everybody is safe? Um, supervision after church. I have in quotes, who is responsible for the children? After children's service is done and the children go, who is responsible? That is a problem because they are now out of children's ministry hands and they are running around and parents are still left in here not knowing where their children are. We also have acknowledged that some parents will drop off their kids and they won't know where their children are until after church and they want to go home and they look at us and they say, where's my child? It's in part our responsibility, but after children's service is over or during children's, service, children's services, it is the parents' responsibility to not only be in here, but also go over to where the children are to make sure that their child is inside. Make sure your child is listening to what is going on and not running around. The children's ministry only has so many people and it is even hard to recruit individuals to come and help. So as a parent, at least if not only for your child, but for this other, the ch children's safety of others, of your peers and your friends, it is important to know where your children are. So outdoor supervision, when it's summer and the weather is nice and the kids are outside at the back there playing by the roadside, who is responsible for watching them? Gym supervision, when things are going on in the gym, when people have birthday parties and cutting cake, are the parents in there with their children knowing where they are? As well as another issue is lack of screening. Um, screening is very important. Uh, especially when working with children, because children are considered to be a vulnerable sector. A vulnerable sector is basically when um, you're dealing with a group of people who can't really take care of their, themselves in full effect. Like if I just come over and I slap um, Juju, he can't help it. He, I'm bigger than him, he's so tiny. If I backhand him right now, he has no way to defend himself. That makes him vulnerable. So um, we as uh, parents and um, teachers and educators, it is important to have a screening process put in place to know, to know that the people who are taking care of your children are able to take care of your children. Because there are people out there, we don't know what you do outside. There could be sexual predators sitting amongst us. There could be someone who could just walk in through the door and say they're one of us, but deep down in their heart, they have bad intentions for your children. There is nothing set in place to stop anybody from coming into this church and walking out with someone's child. And that is a scary thing. Because one day you'll think your child is sitting in children's church, but in actuality, someone has come in and taken them. Or they're playing outside, you don't know where they are, someone stops getting off the highway, they grab your kid, Throw them in your car and they're gone. And you won't know until you're leaving church. And then you'll come in and ask Uncle Kofi and all the other teachers, where is your child? It's a problem. Next slide. So the Advent Risk Management has um, ratios set in place. A ratio is basically how many adults could be in charge of a certain amount of children. In the event of children's church, it would be a low risk because there's not a lot of movement. So um, ratio would be one to 12. So one adult per 12 children to supervise. Um, this is the same thing like a daycare. Um, daycares have ratios. Like if I were to work with a preschool age, the ratio was one teacher to eight children. Um, but that is a standard. But for something like church where it's low risk, the ratio is one to eight. But if we're doing something more of a high risk, 
like say we're going to Wonderland and they're swimming or we're going to Wonderland and they're walking around and they're going on rides, the ratio is one to four. That is what the Advent Risk Management um, site says. Next slide. So these are some of the possible solutions that I quickly thought of. So ensuring that the children's department screens volunteers and teachers. Um, there is something called the Police Vulnerable Sector Check. Um, most of the people in here who have should have them because you work with vulnerable sectors. I don't know about hospitals, but in order to work in a school or a daycare, you go to the police station, you say you want a police um, vulnerable sector check, they will give it to you, I think it's like $40, um, $45, and you're good. Just says that you haven't had any um, criminal records or uh, no signs of your of you being a sexual predator or anything like that. And that is very important because we need to know who is working with our children. Because who knows, there may be a sexual predator, God forbid, and they may be touching your child inappropriately, they may be doing things inappropriate to your child. We need to know. So it is our duty to get these individuals screened. So have an appropriate amount of individuals to meet advent risk ratios, which will be one to 12 in the event that we're in children's church, which comes in hand with recruiting more helpers. The children's ministry needs a lot of help. Working with children is a huge task, especially when you have so many children, it's hard to keep tabs on them. Um, so if you are more than willing to come over, even if it's just for one Sabbath, just to help with children's ministry, we would greatly appreciate it. You can talk to Uncle Kofi or any of the other teachers and they will get you set up. Um, so have the children's ministry teachers and volunteers circulate the church during the hour. So not only staying concentrated in that one area, but also have people walking around the hallways, in the bathrooms, in the gym, in the sanctuary, checking to make sure the children are safe and ensure the security department creates a policy to address issues in regards to the children's department. I know Uncle Andy is currently working on that, and he will be speaking to you and the board at a later date about those policies. I'm not so sure if there is going to be an open discussion because we're still in church. So uh, thank you so much for your time, and please, it takes everybody to raise a village. We need your help, and thank you very much. Thank you, Natalie. Okay, your point. But your parents, no more, more educated. We say you more better than any any year my year. But your child now soon, you know, to be just a teacher, sing your part. Ona, or baby, or ona, or baby, or ona. You need a seven Quran in your. You need a mercy. So I want to mention a point that she made about the screening. I remember the last year or last two years, I kept talking about this thing. The Ontario Conference insists that all working with the children's department, even other departments, but especially with the children's department, uh, we're supposed to have this screening uh, at least, I think, for every two years. We can, but the good thing is that the conference, through the church, you know, is, um, we, we, we are expected to pay for that 50-something, 50 55 or whatever you go here. We pay it, so just go have it done, and we give you uh, your refund, or we reimburse you. But on the Ghana for a year, for Ghana for a Ghana for a and we take so much for granted. We see some people see no, na afi, na yehuma kuche, and the same one, those working in the children's department, we need to say, vulnerable sector, and you know, we pay you, you know. Please have it done and bring the thing to us and uh, our treasurer will give you back the money. And uh, all other people are telling you kind. Mwai sa, mwai sa, he said. Ubi nkasa somebody, you see. But when something happens, sir, that's the very first thing that the conference lawyer will demand. Was this person supposed to work clear, to work in the children's department? He said, yes, we have this. And they checked the background and there was nothing. Mumwa yes, there was a swami at this point. 
and it's important to us.
Kids, we are going to the youth sanctuary. I think uh, Martin is using the gym, so we can't go there, so we have to go in there. Alright? So, thank you. 